them and UEFA were in a contract negotiation. Mm -hmm. Basically, they just came out and just slap UEFA right at their face and say, we're going to create this league, and we're basically not even going to join your uh, UEFA Champions Leagues. And if you know anything about UEFA Champions League, it's a fucking big deal. And my team is facing Real Madrid in the semifucking finals. It's a fucking massive game. And they're basically just saying, no, fuck you. Like, we're going to create our own league. But the thing is, like, now, they're saying it's good for football, but it's really not. It's really about the money because they don't sure. want the little teams to be making, to be getting any, like, any funds from that pie of the champ of being in the Champions League, you know, mm -hmm. like they're they're sick and tired of splitting money with other teams that somehow make it every year. But now, when they do this, it takes away from the whole fun of football. It's because for I I if you were to compare for the the football system to America, I would say the NCAA tournament. Now. The NCAA, NCAA tournament, every year you see that college team. That, it's always a that, Cinderella story. It's a Cinderella story, right? And so every time when I watch a, my Chelsea play, we're playing Brighton tomorrow. I am not guaranteed that they can win because as, of, never, as but, of right now, watch, as of right now, the teams that are in the Super League, right, which is Arsenal, Bro, they haven't won shit in like a decade. Arsenal is trash, and Arsenal is not in the top but four. But they somehow always get to UEFA just because off the name. No, no, they are not in the Champions League. They're not in the Champions. No, they're oh, not. Shit. Let me explain it to you. The teams that are in the Super League right now, the teams that are not in the the Champions League is Man United is not in the Champions League. Juventus. Juventus is, but they got knocked out. That's why. Arsenal was never in to begin with. Um, Tottenham never begin, never was in to begin with. I say Tottenham was in. Um, Tottenham, yeah, I say Tottenham. I don't know why. Um, and then what else? Oh, AC Milan, bro. AC yeah. Milan is never been, in the fucking UEFA ass, Champions League. They've been asked since Ronaldinho so, left. So these team are creating their little shit just so they can like make it easier on themselves and just guaranteeing them a spot in the big game. So if that's the reason why I'm so mad is because like if you look at the tables right now I can go through the tables. If we're going Premier League, first first team in the uh, in the table is Man City, right? Rightfully so, they got a lot of fucking money and I'm going to get into the money. Second is Man United. Sure. Okay. Third, Leicester City. Like Leicester? Like Le Le Leicester, Le Leicester, whatever. whatever um fourth, about. West Ham. West Ham of all team, Both you know, those teams you just named are not that good compared to like the usual top teams. Right. That are so, so if we're talking about English Premier team League. right now, you're like, wait, where's Liverpool? Liverpool six, Chelsea. We're fifth and we're in the fucking semifinal and we're still battling it out to try to get into that top four spot so that we make it into the Champions League next year. If we stay at fifth, we're fucking in. Pl we're playing in the Europa League, bro. Like. So now Liverpool, as of standing, they're not going to be playing in Champions League next year because they're six. Tottenham's like oh, eight. Okay. Arsenal okay. is like fucking tenth. Yeah, this, uh, that's weird. I mean, yeah, they they kind of so so that that's why people are so fucking frustrated with this new system because if you create this, then all the little teams, you're basically saying it doesn't even matter if you win. But here, okay, so here's the thing. So supposedly. Uh, Real Madrid president Florentino uh, Perez said that basically that the Super League would not be closed and would, vent would eventually have a pyramid format for others to join. No, but, see, but why are but why are teams like like a uh, uh, Arsenal and like teams that are at the bottom of the Premier League? Why why do they get the first dips to join this league if they're not even because, at the top of their league? Because it's based off of it's based off of their evaluation. They're the even though the teams suck, there's a lot of history behind it. His, with history and sport comes revenue and fan base. So they yeah. have bigger, bigger fan base. They're 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 just a bigger team. Yeah, they pull in a lot of money. Teams. You still you still see motherfuckers Arsenal jersey or Tottenham or whatever it is because they're just a big team. But that doesn't mean that they're fucking good. Arsenal has haven't seen fucking a winning season in a long time. And Tottenham has never won a fucking trophy. Why are they even in that? So this is the reason why football fans is, is like upset. And I get it. 
because the difference between football fan and Europe, that's a four billion, like four billion like population worth of I, I can't I can't say this right. That sport alone generates four billion fans. Dude, the NFL doesn't even come close. And if you think they no come sport. close, you're no, tripping. No sport comes close to soccer. No sport comes close. So that's four billion fans. There's only seven billion people in the world. They have four billion fans. Well soccer's worldwide, so that's why. That's I yeah. So it's like it's the only sport that is literally played in every every country. on every single continent. And so and so, um, back to my point. Yeah, so if you start this shit, so the 12th team will be considered the founding teams, right? And it guarantees them a spot in the, in the show. It guarantees that they will play in the Super League every year. And it's like, but that's not the case how it is now. Like, you do, you're not in the show. You know, you're making it easy for yourself. And that's one. Mm-hmm. Another thing is that now, like, if this goes through... UEFA and FIFA, that's another, that's another whole shit because they're not, they're not scared by any means because they got their own fucking corruption. Yeah, they're not, they're not, I mean, they're the good guys in this situation, but yeah, but we already know about UEFA but, and FIFA. They have their own bullshit they're dealing with, but they're right in this situation. Right. What these teams are doing, like, it's not, these teams are just basically, like you said, they're just. It's, it's a, basically saying, imagine. It's basically imagine like if um, the NFL just said, no, fuck you, Cleveland, fuck you, Orlando Magic, fuck you. Da. And then imagine if Canada has their own basketball league and like their top best top five team. NBA, you and they just, huh? You said NFL, you meant NBA. Oh, NBA. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And just fucking join and say, nah, fuck y'all. So like now all the fans from like Cleveland, all the, I'm shitting on Cleveland, but all the fans from like, let's say the Kings. Or Detroit, Detroit, like you, you don't mean nothing. You don't even get a shot in the dance. And yeah, then it's, ba- it's basically like if the NBA went and said, okay, so from now on, every year in the playoffs, the the Lakers, the Clippers, the Celtics, the Warriors, the Heat, the Bucks, and the Sixers are gonna automatically get in the playoffs just because they're the big name team, and the Nets too, automatically gonna get in the playoffs because they're the big market. The Knicks too. They're all big market teams, and that's what the fans want to see in the playoffs. <clears throat> Even if the Knicks go fucking 0 and 82, right? They automatically get a playoff bid, and and that's not fair to the teams who, who are the lower teams who fight and have a good season and beat these teams, right? And deserve that actual spot. Like, so yeah, I get it. We that's always like fair. a we like we always love an underdog story, and if this happens, there is no underdog story. Uh, underdog story, and like the thing with soccer is like. The whenever like a Man City faces Barcelona, it's a fucking big deal because they don't face each other often. But now it's gonna happen every other week. Like that don't mean shit anymore, you know. Like, I think if this happens, I think because of the the, the <clears throat> twelve big teams that are in the league, I could see like the first couple weeks the ratings going crazy. But I would say maybe after a month, it's probably gonna die down because it's gonna be okay. Barcelona is gonna play fucking. Man, you two weeks from now, I don't gotta watch this game. I can watch them play each other. Right. Two Suddenly, weeks from every now. game just seems. Ir- and it seemed like a normal game. It's irrelevant. So less relevant, right? Yeah. I and get so, it. and and the thing, the thing that people don't know is that, like, when it comes to European soccer, European football, actually, it's like a religion, especially in England. Like these teams represent the city. The all have you noticed all the all the football team name. Like, their name after the city. Mm-hmm, pretty like, much. Like, it represents the entire city. It's not like these are, like, hundreds of year old team. Like, they're not I don't even new know if it's team. considered cities in England. I'm probably, like, the states or provinces, or, but still. No, city, city. Oh, like, city Liverpool little, is a city. Oh, it's not like a Chelsea province Chelsea is a whatever? city within London. Oh, okay. It's, it's, I didn't know that. I didn't know that. Yeah. No. So, it's, it's a city. So, it's like. Now, that's why in London you have so many teams. You have Chelsea in London. You have fucking... Um, Man U? No, that's right. Man. That's Manchester. See, Manchester is, geography. Yeah, no, Manchester, <laughs> the, Manchester rival is Man City. <laughs> Manchester City and Manchester United. Okay, okay. See? I get so, it. in London you got Chelsea, you got West Ham, you got Tottenham, you got Arsenal. Like, all in the same fucking, ca- like, big city. Like, it's... So, like, these... Like, they're super die hard and, like... Like, imagine, like, every soccer... I keep saying soccer. 
uh, every football team in like Europe, their fans is as crazy as like. What's the craziest fans base in in America? What's the craziest fan base? Lakers or Dodgers or like Lakers or Dodgers? Yeah, like every team fans base is that crazy. Like America fans base is very like they're not that fucking crazy like they how they are in Europe. You Raiders. know, like like they're not like we're not like imagine yo imagine this for example if the Knicks were in England, you know how many protests. Knicks? That you know how they would have burned that fucking stadium down. <laughs> they would have no. They the, would have burned that <laughs> shit down by the, now. If the Knicks were in England, they would have killed James Dolan by now. First, they would have fucking James, dragged his head and put it on, put it in front of the stadium, and be put, like, they'd have put that nigga body on the stake and burnt him to death, James Dolan. Yeah, you would, if you, you would not be the owner of the Knicks no more, you or your bro, family. If you ever seen Games of Thrones and that one scene where they cut a bunch of uh, people heads off and they just kind of put them. On top of uh, the 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 gates, that'd have been everybody yeah, in the next organization. Yeah, that would have been the whole organization on the fucking gates when you get in the stadium. Like that would have not fucking happened. And so, I don't know. I don't think you're gonna know this, but now now we're gonna get to the point where why where, where, why we are where we are with European football, and like why the money and the greed has gotten like away from the sports and the tradition. It's because let's just go off of Premier League. Did you know that most Premier League teams is owned by American corporate? Doesn't um. So Liverpool is one. Doesn't um. um yeah, you on, know uh, LeBron James is part ownership of Liverpool, right? But not not even him. Uh, the dude that you uh, what's the dude that owns the Rams? Uh, Stan Kroenke. Stan he... Stan Kroenke is the is is the owner of guess who? Arsenal. Yeah, but say he's the owner of Arsenal. Stan Kroenke. About that. Stan Kroenke. Um and uh my Chelsea is Roma uh Roman Abramovich which is that's that's Russia uh oil doesn't that's Mark oil Cuban money have, doesn't Mark Cuban have stake in a soccer team uh know. not in England I don't think so I thought he I could be wrong no I'm but uh wrong. so the big teams are so man Liverpool is by John Henry and Tom Warner that's Fenway Sports Group Fenway Sports Group owned Boston I if you know anything about Sox. that um Manchester City's is uh is the 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 dude is, is uh is owned by Abu Dhabi United Group, so that's oil money. Manchester United, the Glazer family. If you know anything about the Glazer family, guess who owns the who the Glazer family owns? Guess who? Heard that name before. I don't know. Tampa Bay Buccaneers. Oh shit! Okay. Yeah. That's what I thought. I, so, I was about to say a Florida team, but I wasn't sure. So and then Newcastle is owned by Mike Ashley, which is Fraser's group. And um and then some of the other teams owned by Chinese. So Wolves are owned by Chinese. West uh West Bromwich is owned by Chinese. And then Tottenham is owned by Joe Lewis. Um, that's the own, really English. Oh, Mike Ashley is English from Newcastle. Yeah, say, uh, homeboy yeah. from Newcastle. That's the only two really that's, English. That's English. Um, and uh yeah, another another thing about Newcastle is they were supposed to sell. They're supposed to uh sell their team. To a um, Saudi group, uh, Saudi uh, one of the rich Saudi guy, and then the league fucking disengaged the deal and uh, didn't approve the deal because the big six, which is Tottenham, Chelsea, Man U, Man City, and Arsenal, uh, and Liverpool, kind of was like, "Ooh, we didn't want another team to come in with some big money and probably take over and start signing all the fucking players away from us." So now they weren't able to fucking sell the team. But yeah, so it just kind of show you like so now like these are the these are these six teams. These six teams are the driving force of the Super League, and most of the owners are from the United States. So these guys, you think they give a fuck about the England tradition of football? They don't, they don't give a fuck. They just care about money. And like all they care, yeah, I was about to say all they care about is their money. They don't give a fuck about. Like they look at these teams as like a fucking investment, and the fans there they look at it like this is my fucking livelihood, like. This, this, these, like Chelsea, Liverpool, Liverpool, they're in the fucking logo. It say, you'll never walk alone. Like, that's their shit, you know? Man, United, that's like England. That's, they have like, what, 90 something million followers on IG, I think, or that's Barcelona, one or other. But shit, they probably do too. They probably do too. But like, huge fan base that's like really, really old. And so, like, these motherfuckers are just like, 
are just so greedy and they just fucking they couldn't get a deal with UEFA, so they're like, you know what? We're gonna go and um we're gonna have a new deal with uh homeboy Chase. You know, with oh, JP JP yeah. Morgan. That's so what JP I was about earlier. JP Morgan uh promised them I think three point four bill or four point three bill if if the deal if the deal of the Super League deal goes through. That's front you get that right away. Three point four bill. Jesus yeah. Christ. So they're they're willing to fund they're willing to fund it. So these teams already, you know, they're not fucking stupid. They're not willing to announce this without a you know, without a deal or guarantee any kind of sort of money in order to split from UEFA, because UEFA whether they like it or not, UEFA is another income for the team. If you win your the UEFA, you get another hundred and ten mil. Exactly. That's a lot. You know, you can get you can get a lot of more players. You can upgrade your stadium, whatever the case might be. So for anybody in America probably thinking like, oh, this is good. This is a good this is a good thing. I get to see fucking Barcelona versus Real, which they already do, but not that many times. But I get to see Man City versus Juventus. I get to see Chelsea versus fucking uh Barcelona often. Like to us. To, to people here, it's probably a good deal because we fucking love seeing super teams. But over there, it's like, now nah, we want to see the we want to see the Burnley, the Crystal Palace mm -hmm. try to fucking beat Liverpool. The, the Leeds United. Right. This just this weekend alone, Liverpool faced Leeds United. was It was tied one and one. I think Leeds beat them. No, it was tied one and one. Um, and <laughs> then uh, Arsenal fucking... Um, I think loss or somebody lost to one of the smaller teams this weekend. Cause yeah, I don't no. remember seeing it. I don't remember who though. Uh, shit. Explore more. I thought it was Leeds that fucking won, but I could be wrong. No, uh, Arsenal tied with Fulham, and then Man United's Man United beat Burnley, but um, yeah, and then Tottenham was tied with Everton. So it's like, and then my own Chelsea. Like, literally lost to a fucking um, West Brom 5-2. Okay, that's what it was. It you was know, Chelsea. like, we lost to them 5-2. So, it's like, at the end of the day, like, if it's if it's about competition, like, not not none of these teams are a guaranteed win. So, if if this shit goes through, then you said fuck all the, fuck all the small teams. The small teams don't get any money, so they're not going to get any funds. Let me, let me play devil's advocate real quick. So, I... I don't really agree with it, with this whole Super League. Like, I think they should just keep it how it is. Like, they're still going to uh, bring the revenue in and all that. But the reason I can see why they're doing it is, like you said, if you're looking at it from Amer an American perspective, I'm going to just list the 12 teams that are in here. So, Arsenal, Chelsea, Liverpool, Man City, Man U, Tottenham, Atletico Madrid. We forgot about them. They're in there, too. Yeah. Barcelona, Real Madrid, AC Milan, Inter Milan, and Juventus. These 12 teams, not only do they have millions of viewers in Europe and in their respective countries, they have millions of viewers across the ocean, whether it's in Asia, whether it's in America. Right. So I could see putting these teams, I could see if they form this league and they get this money from J.P. Morgan, I could see a deal where. And also, they're, they're going to get television deal. And they're yeah, going to get ad. And they're going to get. They're, it's and not that's just, the point. It's, they're going to generate like. But that's the point. Billions of dollars. I could see them. I could see this deal. I could see this this league forming. And right. all of a sudden. Like when. Like even when it's El Clasico. And that's uh, what Barcelona and Real Madrid. Like even when that game happens. It's not on ESPN. It's on fucking ESPN Deportes. Or you got to have like one of these sky these, uh, sports. Yeah. You got to have one of these soccer channels in order to actually see the game or right. still got to illegally watch it. I can see with this league, I can see a game where it's a, it's a fucking what a Wednesday afternoon, a Wednesday night. And we're watching Atletico play Barcelona well, on ESPN, not ESPN well, two, not ESPN news, well, but ESPN. Well, the flagship. Well, basically what they're fucking doing is, well, actually, all the soccer games are actually on ESPN Plus. So, Sierra A is on ESPN Plus, and Bundesliga is on ESPN Plus. Which is my point, but that's ESPN Plus. Not everybody can True, afford ESPN but, Plus. Uh, With this, I can see them putting these just strictly on ESPN. Like yeah. I can go in the ESPN app and just watch it without having to no, have this, ESPN this Plus. This is this is purely a capital capital venture 
American standpoint deal right here. No, this, yes, is, this is 100%. them. This is them saying, you know what? We like the European market, and we have no doubt that we got the European market by the balls. But now let's go and get that Amer- North America uh, market because also. You, yeah, because you have to think about it. This is this might just be, and I don't want to like. I'm not saying like conspiracy theory wise, but this might like be a play. To make soccer bigger in America, because I mean, yeah, soccer's big, but like, think about I it. See so many, I see, I see so many people are like, man, I'd rather watch the MLS. They're basically trying to do what the MLS do with the playoff bracket. I don't know about that. I'd rather watch this shit than the MLS. I know, but but the the basically what they're doing is like a league with a playoff bracket. Soccer is not a playoff bracket ever. It's it's it's, it's a tournament. At, it's, it's based no, off a point. Yeah, it's a it's, point system. It's, it's a, a point system, and then if it's in the Champions League, then it's a group stage, and it's an aggregate. You play two teams. But even the group stage two games, and the aggregates and all that, it's still based off of points. Like, you win, you right. get three points. Yeah, you yeah, draw, it's, all, you it's, two, it's a you point lose, system. You get one. It's all now points. it's, it's a, a playoff bracket. system, basically. I don't even know. Are they going like to do like might, a, I mean, it might make it a little more competitive because teams knowing, like, if you lose and you have – one or zero points and this and you lose your you lose and draw your first two games and you get one point for the loss and then two or yeah or one for or you get zero for the loss and then one for the draw so you only got one and and another team at the top of your group right. wins both games and now there's but, six points up there's no chance but 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 for you to even get a chance to play into the actual tournament. but what but what happened what happens when like half of the teams in the the super league can't even beat. The West Ham can't even beat the Light City or Bayern Munich or Borussia Dortmund or PSG because they're not in it. Well, they're not going to beat Bayern or PSG because those teams are top tier. But I mean, thing, it's but not thing, a guarantee. Well, but. but the thing is that if this happens, most most likely PSG and Bayern is not in it because they're not in it right now and they don't want to be in well, it. They'll be one of the five rotating teams. Well, see, that's the thing. They have but five. You can't have PSG and Bayern as a rotating team. Yeah, they should be in there every year. They should be, but yeah, they decline to be. They decline to be in it. So but how are you going to go through with this you Super remember, League without? But you got to remember two of the biggest team also. It's a, like, I agree. I'm not on the side of the Super League. I'm just playing devil's <laughs> advocate. But oh, you got to okay. think about it. How do we know that Bayern and PSG and uh, Dortmund didn't want to be in it? But what is the point? Like, I personally, I wouldn't want to be in this league if there's no... The whole point is to fuck UEFA and fuck all that other shit. The whole point is to be able to play for your country and play in the World Cup. Right. If you can't play in the World Cup and you can't play in the Olympics because you're in this league, then what is the point of the league? Right. These teams obviously don't care because they're more worried about the money. But I'm thinking that's probably what PSG and Bayern is thinking. If I'm Neymar, I want to play for Brazil. I want to play for my country right. in the World Cup. I don't give a fuck about and I think playing I, against uh, and to Barcelona so- and, and two to, times a week. And to soccer play, that's like the highest honor is to play and Cup. represent your, your country in the, the World Olympics. Cup. Fuck the Olympics. The World Cup is right. the, the highest honor. That's better than UEFA. That's better than any fucking Premier League championship, any fucking La Liga, uh, Serie A, any of those. It's better MLS Cup is better than any of that. It's the right. World Cup. 